I don't use the white covers on the earth box anymore, ever. I won't ever use them again, I don't think. And let me tell you why. So last year what I did was uh, come in here and, and mulch uh, these earth boxes. You know, if you're an earth box grower, you know that you round, uh, you mound the soil up, the potting mix up when you plant. Just a, a little bit of a crown there to let the water run off because you've got that white plastic bonnet on it and it runs, uh, the, the water hits it, it runs off. Uh, weed seeds run off, everything runs off, and, and it's just, you know, it works great. It's, it, the way it's designed is perfect. But they're about two bucks a piece plus shipping, and shipping is where they kind of get you, of course. Everybody does. I knew there had to be a better way. I've always got mulch around the house, so um, last year I put chips, we put wood chips, mounding them up, crowning them up in the middle. Uh, it's kind of hard to see from you know, unless you're looking at it from the side, but basically that's that's crowned up. So the covers of an earth box do two things. Uh, it obviously it mulches it, keeps the water uh, in, keeps the, you know, from using so much water, it keeps the weeds out, and the fact that you mound the soil on top with the white cover on it, it just acts like a roof and just sheds the water off which you don't want the water to run in your earth box uh, during the growing season because it can wash out some of the fertilizer through the, uh, the little weep hole on the bottom, the overflow. So I said last year there had to be a better way. I, I put some uh, wood chips on it. I did an experiment with a water hose on top, mimicking a hard rainfall, and the water was just running off the sides. It just, it really did a great job at shedding the water uh, mulch always does a good job of eliminating weeds and weed seeds. You know that. That's why people use mulch. So it does everything it's supposed to do. Holds the water in, keeps the weeds out, and keeps the, the, the rainfall from, from coming down through the earth box and, and, you know, washing out some of the fertilizer. The initial fertilizing of an earth box is supposed to last an entire season. Not necessarily all year, but a season, what they would say is a season, which is probably three or four months. But I came in here and mulched my earth boxes. Now, last year I was on a carpet of wood mulch, so it really didn't matter if I had some spillover. Uh, this year, different story, I've got the black uh, landscape cloth, and you can definitely see where I spilled a little bit and where the wind blew some of it out. So, you know, it's not a, a perfect thing. I'm gonna have to come in here with a broom. Didn't think I'd ever be sweeping my garden, but you know, that's what I'm gonna do. Come in here and either blow it or sweep it. But it looks good. I've got the tomatoes uh, mulched. I don't have the peppers and the cucumbers and other stuff mulched. I'll show you those uh, right now. So here's my peppers that I have not mulched yet. What I did was uh, I just got a five gallon bucket and full of chips and I just dumped it carefully down the center of it and let it kind of pile up in the center and run to the sides as it was piling up. Some of it was running off, of course. And then just come in here with my hand and shaped it real good and just worked out great. But the main thing I wanted to show you was the mulching of the earth boxes. And it, again, it worked perfect last year. I didn't see any reason that I shouldn't do it this year. I mean, absolutely no reason whatsoever. And I don't know whether you can, it's just kind of hard to see that mountain, that rise in the middle. You know, it's just coming up here and coming down just like that. Uh, but it really looks, it, lo it looks good as well as just functions so great. It functions just like the white cover. So I, I don't see, I don't envision myself ever putting another white cover on a mul on an earth box. And one other thing it does, the white cover doesn't break down to a compost, but uh, the mulch here will. As, as soon as you put it on there, it starts breaking down. It becomes starting to become compost. And um, when it comes time to plant next year, you can either move it out of the way and plant, or you can, uh, what I did was after the plants were pulled up, I just took a board and just scraped across the top of it, raked off all the, uh, the chips that were there, and then uh, planted. And the, the, uh, sure enough, the underneath the chips, it already started uh, a good layer of compost. So it just adds uh, also to your earth box. Uh, add some compost to it. But it really looks good so far. The garden looks great. The Vajega beds look good over there. I'll show you those a little later uh, when they start producing. They're getting close. But I got to come in here and sweep. As you can see, it's kind of messy. Got those little blue tags everywhere from my from my um, uh, tape tying tool. 
and uh but it looks good they're growing man growing good i, I man earthbox earthbox is really really do a great job growing tomatoes and look at those peppers those peppers are t over two feet tall some of them 30 inches tall and i've got six peppers in an area that's about 13 inches wide and about 27 i think long something like that six pepper plants where else can you do that where else can you grow six pepper plants in a in a, about a two square foot area something like that it's just crazy. It's crazy, but that's the earth box. I know some people say they're just too expensive, but when you divide it by about uh, 25 or 30, which is how long they'll last, 25, 30 years, uh, they get to be not that expensive. Maybe a couple of dollars a year, something like that. Uh, so not that expensive. Uh, it's just, as, I understand, it's, a, it's an initial investment that a lot of people aren't willing to make, and I get, I get it. I bought these on sale several years ago, and uh, they've, they've gone up just like everything else in this world has gone up. And these have too. But um, we got mulched here. We're going to mulch here. And, uh, and then hopefully we'll be done. I've got to get this drip system through. I just came through here and hand watered. And that is just a pain in the butt. So I'm going to do my drip system next. To hopefully show you that next week. And um, man, it's looking good. Nothing producing yet except the onions. But it's really, really looking good. So uh, if, if you do earth box garden, or even if you use wicking tubs, there's no reason you can't mound up a wicking tub with, uh, with wood chips too and do the same thing, the same, uh, have the same result because that would work, I think, just as well too. Probably gonna do that when I plant okra over here and I think I'm gonna put a couple of tomato plants in those last two. And I'll, uh, I'll, I'll mound them up with the, uh, with the wood chips just like I do here and just see how it does. I've, I've mulched them before, but never, never really, you know, mounted them up to, to try to keep the water flowing out of it uh, so the fertilizer will stay in it. Never done that before, I don't think. I like what I'm seeing so far. I haven't been getting anything. Been pulling some onions, but nothing else yet, uh, but it's coming. We got little baby maters. We got little baby uh, cherry tomatoes as well as regular maters. And, uh, this looks good. I'm happy with it so far. Hope your garden is looking good. Let me know below in the comments uh, what you're growing and how it's doing and how you grow. If you grow in the soil or if you grow in wicking tubs or if you're an earth box gardener too. Uh, just let me know how it's working out for you and what yours looks like this year. I know everybody got so much rain and that's one reason. Well, it's the reason that the earth boxes were invented by the guy that invented them. He just, he's a tomato grower in, in uh, Florida, and he just got drowned out by one of the hurricanes about 20, 25 years ago. And uh, he's, uh, he invented these, and we got over nine inches of rain not long ago in about a three-day period. And look at the garden. If it had been in the dirt... It would have been washed out. In fact, I feel sorry for all those folks that planted in, in dirt. May, sand, the water may have run through it quick, but just regular dirt or a, a, a good loam or something like that, man, I, I just bet they, I bet everything drowned out. I've had corn drown out. I've had potatoes drown out. I've had everything drown out. And uh, that's one reason I went to containers. Uh, people ask, why in the world would you do that when you got all this land? Well, that's just one of many reasons. I'm getting older and it's just easier and uh, it's just I think it makes for an attractive a really nice looking garden now maybe you don't maybe you 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 like the, you like seeing those rows of rows and rows of rows and rows but uh, I think it looks uh, I think it looks pretty nice anyway let me know what you're doing let me know how it's faring for you and uh, we will see you next week and we're gone